guys had a fantabulous weekend. Mine was so-so. So, I just dropped Dell off at work. I'm heading back to the house now. I'm tired. I have something in this eye, like a hair or a piece of fuzz or something. And I'm trying to drive with it and be okay, but in all reality, I'm not okay. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Let you drive. No. Anyways, but we just, when we were uh, coming this way, we passed this truck. They had what looks to be two sets of mattresses and a headboard in it. Probably see them back over off over there. Anyways, uh, all of that stuff had flown out and was all over the road. I was thinking, oh my gosh, how did that happen? Like, how does that happen? Maybe they just didn't have it strapped down and they thought that the weight, because it, it's, it expands across the back of their truck, maybe they thought that that was enough to keep it in. It's not. <laughs> you uh, you gotta tie that stuff down. But, uh, way to start your morning though, you know? Oh, yeah. Mattresses flung on out before 6 o'clock. So, probably pretty rough, but... Anyways, we're going to go ahead and head home, and I'm going to try to work on the vlogs a little bit, and then um, I'm going to uh, give me in a really good workout. So yeah, but I thought I would get on here and just like, good morning. And they gave us peppers. Can't see the sunrise, but, oh, and then, yeah, Dill's friend gave us peppers from work, so, just peppers. Anyways, but I'm going to go ahead and get on home. I spent good hour at least if not more cleaning this bathroom i was scrubbing the shower and trying to put everything back on the shelf over here and then i discovered that i have a tear in my shower curtain so now i need to um get a new shower curtain which i've needed to get one anyways but now it's kind of like you better or there's gonna be water all over your floor but uh, i was organizing my bathroom uh cabinet in here Putting like all the medicine and stuff in these baskets and then you know like alcohol peroxide all that stuff sunblock you know lotions my stuff which is like tanning foot kit all that Dell shaving stuff I still have stuff way over there if you can see um, and then those are like towels and all that but I did that and then I decided that because I'm needing to get a new shower curtain then maybe I should like change up the decor a little bit in the bathroom so I'm kind of playing around with that, you guys let me know what you think. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so I still need to um, wipe the counters off and clean that, but anyway, so I had these little bitty ugly black um, like bowls things or whatever um, here that had the uh, Q-tips and cotton balls in, and so I decided to do away with that and put these cute little glass jars just with some little twine uh, wrapped around it. So that way it doesn't look like, you know what I mean? It's not such an eyesore. Like those black bowls, it was like it made the counter look crazy. And the kids, um, all of their little toothbrushes and stuff like that, their little kits were sitting up there on the counter. So I decided to take those off. Um, and then I've had this little sifter forever. I've had, I don't know, probably and my flowers are totally leaning. But when I came in here, they were pulled out from there. So my guess is the kids are messing with them. Anywho, um... So I decided to take this little sifter and put some little sunflowers in it. And then I changed out the uh, bath mat. So, oh, and then I put a little basket on the back of the toilet there. And I still have some other little things. What the heck? But my idea and my theme type thing is just kind of turning it into like a little country bathroom. Um, so I'm hoping tomorrow... Um, to find a shower curtain that kind of goes with that, um, with that feel, you know what I mean? So something like that. And then I'm thinking about adding a few things here and there. I cannot wait if, fingers crossed, we get to redo this bathroom. And I kind of feel bad because this bathroom was supposed to be redone. And then they were having issues with the contractor and it just, it didn't get done. So I'm stuck with this ugly, like, blue tub, sink, toilet. And this ugly wallpaper and these lights and this mirror. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, if things had went the way that they were supposed to go, this bathroom would be beautiful. So now I'm kind of like, I, honestly, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little embarrassed about my bathroom. 
um, because it looks so awful. <laughs> and I have like my sister, which would be coming to my house for the first time, and then my sister-in-law, which is supposed to be coming for like the second time. <sighs> and then I am gonna have people over for their birthday party, so I'm kind of a little embarrassed about the bathroom, but. Yeah, but anyway, to think it all started, like, cleaning and changing everything up with, like, cleaning the tub and a broke shower curtain. Funny how that works, huh? But I gotta go do some more stuff, but I thought I would show you guys a couple of quick, you know, like, change your bathroom up things. If I get the shower curtain tomorrow, I'll show you guys that, too, but, you know, I just want to show you what I was working on. So, in the spirit of my newly, or what I should say... In the spirit of decorating my bathroom and my newly decorated bathroom or the process. Anyways, <laughs> um, I've decided to go with um, just some cute little accents. I mean, I'm all about not only saving money, but, you know, having just different things that you don't normally see um, when you go to somebody's house. Like, anybody can go to Dollar Tree and get these little uh, vases, okay? Anybody can do that. Um, anybody could go to Dollar General and get this little, uh, what is this, a, uh, candlestick holder. You know, anybody can do that. That's fine and dandy. That's okay. If that's what you like, you can leave it like that. I chose to add a little plate, a little plastic plate that you can get at Dollar General, you can get a Dollar Tree on top of it and keep my hair care and face and all that stuff on there. Um, you know, but anyways, long story short. Uh, I took these pieces of wood and I painted, of course, if you can read, <laughs> I'm sure you can, um, a wash, soak, and relax on them, put some twine, and I'm thinking about putting them maybe on this ugly ass wall. Okay, yes, and look, see, this is what I'm talking about. I am left with this when the, um, the contractor came and they were going to take all of this off and paint it. When he came, he ripped off a piece to see if it would come off, and so I'm left with what looks like a ugly leaf shape. Ugh, I hate this bathroom. It's just awful, guys. So anyways, I'm trying my best to, you know, make it look nice and make it look country. But anyways, I painted these. I'm going to have Dale hang on somewhere in this bathroom. But if you want some just easy, cheap, that don't even really cost anything, um, decor ideas for your bathroom if you're looking to redo and you're kind of going with a rustic country chic type look that I'm going for, then here's you a couple of ideas. Breaking update. Boredom has set in. I just left the break room. Had to have some Skittles. I got bored, so I had to get something to eat. I'm going to take a quick ride around the plant here. Oh, that'll take a whole two minutes. <laughs> then I guess it's back to my chair. Anyway, I might give y'all some more 360 cam a little later. I don't know. Might just take a nap. Who knows? But we're not doing anything out here. I don't know. It just kills my soul to sit around all day when I know there's stuff I can be doing. Sure, they pay me to do this. That's fine and dandy too. I'm not complaining about that part. But boy, it makes for a long day when you just sit around all day long. Can't really give you all a full tour of the facilities. Kind of against the rules. <laughs> yeah, there's certain areas they don't like to have cell phones in. Or any kind of recording device. I don't know why. This place is so safe. See, they probably got all the gates locked. So I'm probably going to have to turn back around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Going to have to turn around here. Go back. Winch the way I came. Alrighty. Well. It's back to my chair in the shed. I will talk to y'all later. When you realize that you've been walking around all day in your sports bra and shorts and you realize that it's almost three o'clock well actually it's almost two o'clock yeah it's almost two o'clock and i'm gonna have to leave to go get delston and it's like what are you doing with your life like get yourself together which i really do i need to get my life together like seriously 
I am just, I am having a rough time, okay? I don't know what it is, why, whatever. I know the weather is, you know, not the greatest. It's supposed to thunderstorm, which is good and bad. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I've been, I, I, for one, I'm a little upset. I have been cleaning what feels like all day, all morning doing stuff, and my house is still what I feel a disaster. And I'm seeing all these, like, clutter spots everywhere, and it's really honestly starting to make me, like, panic, you know? I have about 10 days until Brody goes to church camp, and then uh, the boys' party is like two days after that. So I have about like 12 days until the twins' birthday party, and all these people are supposed to be over here at my house, and my house is like a disaster, and they honestly are not much help. Okay? What? What yeah. Major help? Where? When? <laughs> yeah, anyways, but. So I'm just kind of like starting to, to panic a little bit, to freak out, and then the cats are driving me insane, the kids are driving me insane, I have all these things that I'm trying to accomplish, and people pulling me, don't kick the cat, in every direction, and it's like, I'm so just out of it that I forgot to put on my own shirt. So, what am I doing with my life? I, I just, what am I doing? I just need to like calm down and just take a chill pill. And I mean, I keep telling myself, these people are coming to see me and my children, not my home. But still, when you have all these people up in your home, it's it's kind of a big deal. And then when you have, like, my sister, okay, which I know some people are like, you know, who cares? She's coming to see you. But she's never been to my house, so I want my house to be, like, you know, in good shape. I want it to be, you know, not perfect, but I want it to be my idea of perfect. So, you know, I don't know. These are your two pills, right? This is Tyler's pill. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thank you. He's like, I'm just trying to help. Oh my god, I can't even put on my shirt, you guys. I'm, I'm just a mess, okay? I am a mess. <laughs> I can't even put on my own shirt. Oh my gosh. These. <laughs> Today's just, that's Vicks Vapor Rub. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to put on this shirt. I'm gonna try to do a couple things before I gotta leave to go get Dale. And maybe I'll feel a little bit better. But I just know he's gonna come home and he's gonna be like, What have you done all day, Monica? Huh? What have you done all day? Because the house still looks almost the same, even though it's not. And we've cleaned up the same area like 12 million times. <sighs> just having a little bit of a panic attack. I'm good. I'm good, y'all. I'm good. But I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing with my life today. Okay, this is nothing. <laughs> this is not even right. Like the weather's starting to kind of go crazy. It's blowing my pool cover off my pool, but look what it did to my poor old pallet over here with our pool stuff. Don't tell them what's all squished ugh, and popped. Oh snap! And I bet you those nails went right into my dang floaty. I bet you it them popped it. Poor thing. Oh, try to move that, but my goodness. Maybe you guys can see the sky though. It's getting pretty dark over there. The wind is kicking up just a, a little bit. So I'm trying to get the stuff that needs to be picked up outside picked up before the rain comes in, but it's blowing my pool cover off. So now my pool's going to have all that junk in it again. Uh, why me? Why? Today's just not my day. I hate Monday. I hate you, Monday. I hate you so much. So we're back from getting Dale. He's out working as usual out in the shed. If you guys can see, there he is. Anyways, um, I am messing with dinner. I have some seasoned fries in the oven and I'm heating up the brisket that we had last night's so leftover brisket um, to have that in some kind of like sandwich form to be honest um, I don't know I thought about like making it barbecue but I don't know if I'm really in the mood for barbecue or not but anyways I have it heating up so it's easier for me to shred but it smells heavenly it smells so good even the cats are like <laughs> look at them <laughs> they're like feed me mommy feed me um, I'm not gonna give you guys this because it'll make you poop Oh, but anyways, I'm trying to 
Is that Reese Witherspoon? Oh no, I totally just go from one thing to another. Anyways, but I'm trying to get an early start on dinner. Get down, cat. You're driving me nuts. Get off the basket. Um, because the Lone Ranger comes on pretty soon, and I'm just done with today. You know, and I know there's some days where I'm like that, but I kind of feel like it's important and part of my job to let you guys know that, like, not every day is a walk in the park, and, you know, there's people out there that are struggling, and I'm, you know, one of them, and it may not be just with, like, one thing, but many things. I'm kind of sort of, like, honestly over this whole birthday thing, but... I have to finish planning it and I have to go through with it. I'm just like, my kids don't really have, um, or have they had birthdays, like parties. So this is kind of sort of new to me. There's people that have them every year and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And to me, it was just like, I don't know, it was never that way when I was a kid. Um, and then it was always like we didn't know enough people or there was things going on. And we're kind of sort of experiencing that a little bit now. So I'm just like over this whole birthday thing. I'm just like, let's just get it over and done with. I mean, I'll probably be a lot more relaxed once, you know, the day is here and people are arriving and everything is set up. But it's like, I, it's like, okay, am I going to have enough decorations? Is everything going to look good? You know, because I, I've never decorated for a party. So I'm like, okay, well, don't overbuy. And then I'm like, well, you want to have enough? And then I was trying to tell myself, okay, well, you have a humongous yard. You cannot decorate the whole entire thing for a party. And then... And just trying to straighten up and rearrange and put things away in my house. I have to remind myself, like, you know, you just need to clean your house, not remodel it for these people. <laughs> so, oh, it's kind of, just kind of a lot. And I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling myself. I'm not feeling all that great. So, it's just kind of a tough time. But if you're going through a tough time, no, you're not alone. I go through them too, which seems like every week, every day. <laughs> but... You're not alone. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and shred this meat up, get it in the skillet so I can get this dinner underway so I can see my man Johnny Depp. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, I did you. get my shirt on, by the way. God our Father, God our Father, once again, once again, we would like to thank you, we would like to thank you, amen, amen. Good job. Alright, my dinner, it all is all slapped on there. That's okay though. Just because I put it like that. Look how messy it is and juicy. Yeah. So, the brisket. It was a pre-seasoned uh, brisket. Uh, beef brisket. I did add a little bit of my own seasoning. Just because I can't leave well enough alone. But, it's still good. So, I shredded it up. I put it over in a skillet. Added a little bit of extra salt. Um, and then, I added a package of some au jus. Except I didn't put as much water. I put, um, I just put a little bit to kind of make it a little bit more liquidy. I don't know what I'm trying to say exactly, but anyways. Um, and then I put a very teeny tiny portion of cream cheese in there just to kind of give it a little wang and a little something, something extra. And I just have some pepper jack cheese that was on there, but now it's all folded over. It looks hideous, but, and then some fries, but yeah. Is it good, Preston? You've been eating yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Brody, hold that. You're going to dump it all in your lap, son. Mm -hmm. Riley's eating fries. Daniel, how's yours? Good. good. Dale came to eat with us, so... How's your peppers? Those are from his friend's um, garden. Mm -hmm. So they're good? Yeah. Okay. Cats are in there playing on the sofa while we're eating. <laughs> Big piece of Definitely a distraction. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to eat this monstrous sandwich then. Who are you? Who are you?
you? Uh, are you good, man? You're Batman. <laughs> You're Batman. Okay, goodbye, Batman. Hope you have a good charming day with your beautiful playing. <laughs> That's it, Batman. Last of all, I don't want to hold my side game. I'm sorry, but I'm nice. to kick you apart. <laughs> you too, Quip. I just Bye, Batman. I just popped my fingers. Bye. Hey! I will lose tooth. I can't see you. I do. I lose two. Yeah, we'll work on it. Let me take my pills first. Turn your face. I'm gonna take my pills first, and then we're gonna work on that tooth, okay? Yes, ma'am.